We're looking at homework from section 6.2. This is question number three. Find the margin of error for the given values of C, S, and N. C is 0.95, S is 4, and N is 21. So to be able to find the margin of error, we first need to have the correct critical value, TC. And to find the critical value, we need to know the degrees of freedom. So the degrees of freedom are always one less than the sample size, so they're n minus 1. In this case, it's 21 minus 1, and 21 minus 1 is 20. Once we have our level of confidence C and our degrees of freedom, 20, then we can go to the T distribution table. On the T distribution table, we find the column for our level of confidence and the row for our degrees of freedom, and where those meet, is our critical value TC, in this case, 2.086. Once we know the critical value, then we can go to the margin of error formula. The margin of error formula is given by error equals TC times S over the square root of N. So that's 2.086, the value we found from our table, times 4 over the square root of 21 which is 1.82081076, rounded to one decimal place, is 1.8. That's your margin of error, and that's your answer.